apart It was the two of us that was enough The two of us so in love Till the ring of lies, the ring of cries My name strikes And now we're standing in the eye of the storm And everything is gone, nothing remains I'm caught in a hurricane Alrighty, um, I just thought I'd kind of talk about what we're doing here. Um, we're definitely not in a, a 1997 Dodge with 54 inch tires and rock wells. Um, yeah, uh, we've been walking, I, how, how far do you think we've gone? Five, six miles? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. We've been walking for approximately two and a half, three hours. And uh, through snow, on rivers. Uh, we went out approximately, I don't know what, we're probably about 20 miles out. Yeah. Um, well, we got out there and we got in some deep snow and I stuffed a bunch of snow and ice up in my wheel and my tire ended up going flat. So I pull out my CO2, I start, uh, airing it up and we were having issues because that snow and ice was jammed in the bead so I got it pumped up you know and I was like ah let's just run it and we'll hit it again so uh, made it down the trail probably I don't know a mile mile and a half and the thing went flat again so uh, I went ahead tried using the co2 again we got it partially pumped up and I ran out of co2 so uh, I don't have an onboard compressor, and I'll tell you what, right now, that's the first thing I'm going to buy once this thing's over. But, uh, anyway, so, uh, I went ahead and I cut my ARB airline, and I tried adapting the airline off of my CO2 to the ARB air compressor. Um, yeah, it didn't really work too well. <laughs> uh, didn't have the oomph. So, uh, it was getting dark, um, getting kind of cold, and me and old Silas, we decided, uh, you know, to hoof it on out. Uh, we figure, you know, it's probably about, 
I don't know, from where we were at, probably what, nine, ten miles yeah. to the truck. So, yeah, we're staying warm. We got, you know, we got good gear. Uh, you know, we got guns. And, but another learning experience, I guess, at best. What is that? A dozer or a shovel. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're up here behind a, a coal mine. So, yeah, they got stuff. We're, we're going to make our way to, to one of the big shovels uh, and dozer and fire that thing up and cruise on down to the truck, which is about six, seven miles down. But, uh, anyway, that's the story. Wish us luck. Later. All right, I'm back with you. Um, me and Silas are getting pretty spent. Uh, I'm just taking a guess, but we've probably got about a mile left. Uh, since last time, I'm guessing probably hiked about two and a half, three miles. Um, maybe even more, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I think we'll be into this hike probably 10 or 11 miles by the time we're done getting out of here. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys and get back to the truck. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, we're getting ready to do the rescue mission on the Dodge. Uh, came back down to Healy last night and me and Silas we got compressors we got generators uh, we have all kinds of stuff so go in there see if we can get her out of here as you can see there's, there's all kinds of big rigs up here behind the mine but see how she goes the rescue mission get it underway Just made it back to the rig. Everything's still here. Nothing got stolen. I'm gonna get everything set up and then get on the trail. Head out of here. Made pretty good time on the way back. Um, so talk to you guys later. All right, we got her all fixed. Uh, we're gonna head on down the trail. <laughs> <laughs> 